guys so i'm here to do my makeup basket of the week so let's get started so for eyeshadows i'm going to use the lorac pro palette which is the first one and this is my favorite palette and my most used palette and this is what it looks like if you've never seen it For contour, I'm going to use my City Colors Contour Effect Palette, which I'll show you that really quickly. I don't plan on using the highlights. For to set my concealer under the eye, I'm going to use the NARS, what is this called? Crystal Light Reflecting Setting Powder, loose. For highlight, I'm going to use this little rack. Tantalize Me Baked Bronzer, which it's too light to be a bronzer for me, so I'm going to use it as a highlight. Uh, for color tattoos this week, I'm going to use, what is this one? This one is Bad to the Bronze, and I'm going to use Matte Brown, because I want to do a smoky brown eye. So for foundation primer, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Step 1 hydrating primer. This is a sample I picked up from Sephora. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Mesh Foundation again. This is in C7. And I'm going to be using the powder which is in C6. For concealer under the brow, I'm using the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer in Toffee. Yes, Toffee. For under the eye concealer, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn. For my corrector, I'm using the LA Girl Concealer in Orange. I just picked this up, which will be in a haul that you will see this week. Alright, so for mascara, I'm using the Wet n Wild Look Still. And I don't have it over here, but I'm also going to be using the Skinny Mascara. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Gel with my NYX. Micro Brow Pencil and Espresso. This is the NYX. Oh, this is this kitty mascara right here. I thought that was the matte liner, but I want to use that. That's not over here right now. And if I want to use a pop of color in the waterline, I'm going to use this L'Oreal. What is this called? Silka Simi. I think that's how you say it. And this is in True Teal. For blushes, I'm going to be using two more of the Milani blushes, rose blushes. This one is Warm Petal. And this one is Lady Rouge. If I don't want to use the teal color liner, then I'll be using my L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance for an eyeshadow primer. And then I have my five lippies. So I'm going to be using the Maybelline Elixir and Raspberry Rhapsody. I have the Milani Matte Fearless, which looks like this. I have the Milani Matte Naked, which looks like this. I have the NARS Satin Lip Pencil, and I cannot pronounce this name, but I'll put it on the screen for you. This is a sample from Sephora that you get with your birthday or, or for your birthday gift. And last is going to be the Milani Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss in Nude Touch. So that's my makeup basket of the week. Don't forget to check out my last video, which was my face of the day from my makeup basket last week. And stay tuned for more videos this week. I should have at least uh, two more videos this week. Definitely give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. So I'm here with the face of the day. Everything that's on my face is in my makeup basket of the week except for two items. And I'm gonna tell you why. All right, so on my eyes, I use this Milani Dolce um, eyeshadow because I wanted to use this again. So this is what's on my eyes and